Hello, hello, hello. It's Mr. Nelson here. Um, I just want to give my reasons why I won't be upgrading to the Sony A6300. And I really have my reasons because I feel like it's really not a big purpose of just upgrading. I just feel like it's not time to upgrade yet. My reasons are 4K video is really not you know, a big thing. To me, it's not a big thing yet because a lot of people still have 1080p TVs and a lot of people really don't have 4K TVs and a lot of people really don't care about 4K, you know, as long as they can see a good picture. Um, another thing, I know the uh, A6300, it have a, a microphone jack, but I have other cameras that can give me audio and I can actually strip the audio from other cameras that have a microphone jack. Um, far as anything else, um, you know, I I'm really really enjoying my my um, Sony A6000. Um, I just recently upgraded the lens. I got the 50 millimeter 1.8 uh, lens and. And the pictures are spectacular. I mean, I'm, I'm not, you know, I, why would I upgrade just for those features? The battery life still the same. A6300 and the A6000 still have the poor battery life. Why? I, if you're going to upgrade, upgrade everything. Upgrade the battery life. Upgrade all of it. I mean, I don't have a reason. You know, when they have the little overheating, I mean, my A6000, it doesn't overheat. I don't, I guess I don't push it to that, you know, push it to the limit like that. But really, I really don't have a problem with my A6000 because it shoots spectacular pictures. 24 megapixels is enough to get it done. I shoot in raw and man, I just really get good video out of it. And that's all I really need. I mean, I don't have to upgrade like that. If, I, if I'm going to upgrade, I'm probably going to upgrade to a full frame camera. Full frame, something like a Sony A99 or um, Sony A7R2, A7, some A7S, something like that. You know, uh, Nikon um, D810 or uh, something, something like that. Something that's going to really, you know, matter. You know, not just upgrade. I know they said that uh, A6300 has the 35 millimeter full frame feature in it, but oh well, it's not enough for me to upgrade. Um, right here, I use this right here. This this is the um, Nikon D7000 with the 35 millimeter lens on it, and it shoots spectacular pictures. Um, video is spectacular and everything I mean I got the body for a very 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 cheap price real good body you know it's weather sealed you know it's it's all about the shooter you can get photographers that have these high price high-end cameras and can't shoot a lick so if it's all about the man that's controlling you know the wheel so if you know how to drive and you can get you a destination that's all you need and i have the a6000 like i said with the 50 millimeter 1.8 and i have a nikon with the 35 millimeter 1.8 i'm winning getting the job done regardless no upgrade needed i will be upgrading real soon but i probably won't be upgrading to the 6300 i'll probably go surpass i'll probably go over that and get some full frame camera but if you like my video leave me a thumbs up if you don't like it leave me a thumbs down but you watched it anyway just mr nelson signing out y'all have a blessed blessed day